In this video, I want to show you guys how you can download all of your Facebook profile pictures and videos up next. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff and on this channel I do all sorts of tech reviews, tips, tutorial videos and more. So please consider subscribing. But today I want to talk to you guys about how you can get all of your photos and videos back out of Facebook. And stick around till the end of the video as I'm going to be showing you two other things. One is how you can also download any conversations that you've had on Facebook with friends or maybe family. If they've sent you any pictures or videos you can download those as well as those message conversations and also if you have been tagged in other people's videos I've got an alternative way that you can also use to download any pictures that you've been tagged in maybe you want to preserve those precious memories of your dog Fido. Maybe you want to preserve uh, some of those pictures uh, of your child where you tried to get them to smile and this is what they gave you. You might want to preserve some of those pictures of a newborn or download those happy vacation pictures so that you can remember all those great times you had, like that time at the beach. This is going to give you a option to do a local backup of all these photos, maybe to your computer, to a external drive, or even a micro SD card. So let's jump in and get to it. What I wanna show you guys first is you wanna get yourself onto your Facebook profile account, and I'm doing this off of my Windows laptop computer. And we are gonna try and get our information out of Facebook. So we're first gonna go up to this arrow at the top and go down to settings and privacy. And from this point, click on settings and privacy, and that's also gonna take you to another screen and you wanna click on settings. Now from settings, this is gonna give you all of your general account settings information. But if we go over to the left side of the screen, you'll see all these different buttons, all these different topics you can click on. We would like to click on the Your Facebook Information. Now when we click on that, this is an area that gives you all sorts of different options here where you can access your information. You can transfer a copy of your photos or videos to another service, so they're linked to like Dropbox, Google Photos, um, you can use that. But today what we're gonna be doing is this download your information area. And so from this point, I'm gonna click on view. This is going to take me to the download your information area. And it says here, you can download a copy of your Facebook information at any time. You can download a complete copy or you can select only the types of information that you want. So as we scroll down, there's all different areas here uh, that we can essentially get our information out of Facebook and it selects all of them by default. I'm gonna go ahead and deselect all of these. The ones that I'm concerned with right now are gonna be these photos and videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that box. And from this point, uh, I guess you just have to ask yourself, how much information do you really have in Facebook? Um, if you are like me and you've been on Facebook now for many, many years and you upload content to it quite frequently, pictures, videos and stuff, you're gonna have a lot of data to export out of there and that's gonna take a lot of time. Um, so you may not wanna choose this all of my data option. You may want to break it down into, uh, I would say maybe as a starting point for me, it's gonna be like six month increments. So uh, if I was going to uh, go to 2021, which we're in right now, we're, we're only in the month of March, um, but I can do my starting month and my starting month, let's say is January. So January 1st to March, uh, today's the 16th, so not quite six months, but let's say three months worth of information here, and I can see the dates I've selected down here, January 1st to March 16th. I'm gonna click OK. From this point, it gives me options as to the format that I wanna export, so HTML or this JSON. I've done both of these. I would recommend the HTML because Personally, to me, that just seems a lot easier for me to view the different images and stuff that I'm downloading. And then you can choose your media quality. If you don't have quite as much storage space, maybe on your computer or on your hard drive, you could choose the lower, but I would recommend you go for the high. 
I like preserving my videos and my uh, photos in the highest quality possible. So from this point, I'm going to click on Create File. And it says here, a copy of your information is being created. Your copy may contain more than one file, depending on how much information your request contains. We'll let you know when your copy is complete. So this is going to take a while. I've actually done this a couple of times now because I was testing it out before I would do this tutorial. And it seems to take a couple of minutes. So we will jump back to when this is done and go from there. And real quick, as we do in all the videos on this channel, we've hidden Tinker. He's our little hidden robot and he's going to briefly pop up somewhere during this video. If you happen to spot him somewhere popping up, take note of the timestamp or the amount of time into this video that he pops up and be the first person to let me know that timestamp of how much time into this video it was when he popped up down in the comments section below and we'll put your name on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page as well as give you a shout out in a future video just like Text Teddy and Ian Ham 0122 1976. Wow, that's a lot of numbers in your YouTube name. Congrats to those recent viewers who found Tinker in one of our latest videos. So when this finishes, I get a little notification down here at the bottom of the screen saying your Facebook information file is ready to download. And from this point, then what I can do is click that notification. I actually missed it and you might miss that notification too, but you can go up to your little notification bell that's up here. And when you click on that notification bell, you are going to see that uh, it'll say your Facebook information file is ready to download. So I'm going to click on that. And that's going to take me back to this download your information page. And the latest files or the latest uh, photos and videos I tried downloading are going to be right here. And from this point, it says that it's one file. So even though there's multiple uh, photos, it's compressing them all into one file. And I can go ahead and download this file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Before it lets me download them, it's going to prompt me to enter my password. So I'm going to enter that in. And then it has gone and downloaded that file. And I can actually see it popping up at the bottom of my screen. So from this point, I'm going to go ahead and click this arrow. And this arrow brings up a menu that allows me to show it in folder so I can see it. So I'm going to go to that folder. And from this point, I can see this folder, uh, this compressed zip folder. Now, if maybe you're on a Mac computer and you're doing this, you can just double click this and it might open or expand it for you. What I'm actually going to do is right click on this folder and go to extract all. I'm just going to follow the prompts and I'm going to extract all of these photos. And now I get another folder that opens up and this has all my photos and videos as well as an index page. And so what I'm going to do is click on this photos and videos folder. And if this video is helping you out, take a second right now, smash that like button. Yep, it's okay. You can, you can even pause the video if you want. Just go ahead, take a second, smash that like button because it helps out this video as well as this channel. And then from here, I have a bunch of folders, my timeline photos, my mobile uploads, uh, and I can just click on one of these folders and I can see all the different pictures, the JPEGs that are in here. I'm gonna switch to the uh, thumbnail view so you can see them. And if I just double click on one of these photos, I can see uh, that it has exported my photos out of Facebook. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't export any of these photos in a nice fashion. They all kind of have this gobbledygook numbering system to the titles. Um, so there's, there's not really a whole lot of organization to them, but I do have my photos taken out of my Facebook profile. So I do actually have the files themselves that I could use or back up. And from this point, what I can do then is go to any of these folders and I can copy them over to maybe an external drive or a micro SD card that I might have by just right clicking, going down here to copy, finding that drive plugged into my computer, going to that drive, opening up a window, and then right clicking and I'd be going to paste to paste that folder. You can do multiple folders at a time, 
but depending on how many or what date range you download, how many photos at a time from Facebook, you can build your collection all at once. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you is how you can also export any of the information from messages that you may have gotten as well. So again, you're gonna to wanna to go to this down arrow for your account on Facebook and then go back to settings, settings and privacy, and then go to settings and then under settings again we're going to go to that your Facebook information button that's on the left and then where it said download your information we're going to click on view so this is the page we were at before for photos and videos again I'm going to deselect all of these checked boxes but you can see here this is the area where you are going to export things like your comments likes and reactions um, as we keep scrolling down here, we're going to see messages. So you can export messages that you've had. And again, you can choose your date range. If you want to do all the messages you've ever done on Facebook, that might be quite a few. Or if you kind of have an idea of what date range you want, you can export those as well. And then if you've maybe had friends or family that has sent you any pictures or anything through those messages you will get those as a downloaded file just like we did with the photos and videos when you click on your available copies it'll actually give you another download button here so that you can export all of your different messages and then in addition to the, any of those files like photos that maybe a family member would have sent you you also get all that message information so from your conversation any of that conversation back and forth is also downloaded so the process I've shown you of downloading your photos only gets photos downloaded from your Facebook account um, if you have been tagged in photos by friends or family and you want to download those photos that's not going to work uh, Facebook doesn't allow you an option to export them I have a way though that uh, I have found that also helps me uh, grab any other images that I'm trying to grab off of Facebook so in order to do this, you're going to need to make sure that you are browsing the web using a Google Chrome browser. Now, if you don't have Google Chrome, you can easily download it. And I just went on here and I typed in get Google Chrome, and that brings up a link where I can go and download the Google Chrome web browser. Now, since I'm already using Google Chrome, from this point, what you're going to want to do, once you've got that installed and you've got it opened and you're seeing a window very similar to I am in Google Chrome, you are going to want to install a Google Chrome extension. And it is called Image Downloader Image I. So up here, that's what you're going to want to type in. So I have typed in Get Image Downloader Image I Chrome Extension. And when I go ahead and click enter, that's going to take me to this window. And you're going to want to click on this image downloader link right here. Now, there, sometimes there's going to be a bunch of them that are going to pop up. You want to make sure that when I click through that link, it actually brings up this page. This is the extension that you're going to want. There's similar looking ones. This one is by ImageEye and you're going to want to click this install button that's going to be over here right now mine says remove because i have already installed it but from this point you're going to install that extension on your google chrome browser so from this point i can access that extension by going up to the upper right where you're going to see this little puzzle piece and those are my extensions when I click on this, I can see image downloader right here. So from this point, with the uh, ImageEye Chrome extension installed, as we jump back to Facebook, we're going to see if we can download some of those photos and images that we have been tagged in. Uh, and what you're going to want to do to locate those posts is you can scroll back through your profile and go in the past. An easy way to locate them, again, is going to go to your account, this down arrow go to settings and privacy and then under here this time we're going to go to activity log so when I click on activity log this brings up a bunch of different options we have archive trash review posts you're in review photos you might be in and you can click on those and see what pops up for me what seemed to work well is there's a filter option and I would click on that 
And then you can filter by your activity log, posts, activity you're tagged in, um, photos and videos, or right here is photos you're tagged in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then save changes. Now on the right side here, it's going to say photos you're tagged in, and this sorts them by date. So I can choose one of these photos to click on, and I can see some photos here. Uh, my wife and I went to see The Lion King, which was awesome, would highly recommend it. Uh, and what we can do is now we're going to access that Google Chrome Image Eye image downloader. And when I go to my extensions, I can kind of look down here and see here's the image downloader Google Chrome extension. I'm going to click on that. That is going to open this up. It actually found 14 images, but not all of these images are going to be images that I'm really going to want. Uh, these first three are going to be the images that I really want to download. And what I can do is start to just click on them. So it'll say here, download one image. I can hold down the shift key on my keyboard, and now I've got two images. And then here's that third image, and it now says download three images. And I like that this extension also shows me what the resolution of these photos is. It's not terribly huge, but for Facebook to at least be able to grab these, you know, that's a great resolution for me. So I'm going to go ahead and download these three images. And I can see that all three of these images have now downloaded to my computer. I can click one of these arrows and go to show in folder. And now I can actually see these three images that I just downloaded, and I can click on one of them. And now I have the image downloaded to my computer. And again, you can drag these, put them all into a folder. You can copy and paste all of these by just highlighting and right-clicking, going to copy, and then pasting them to, say, an external drive or a micro SD card so that you can save these as well. So I really hope this information has helped you get your photos and videos out of Facebook. You can also download those conversations, all very helpful information in this tutorial video. And I've also done other tutorial videos, such as how to transfer photos in Google Photos, how to save space on your iPhone if you're running out of space, even how to convert audio files into MP3s for free using iTunes. So you can check out all those videos. They'll be linked down in the description Below, as well as many more tutorial videos that are very helpful. And if you haven't yet subscribed, take a second right now, hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell, and you'll get notified every time I release new weekly videos. My name is Jeff, and as always, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you in the next video.